Imagen's most esteemed award is the Norman Lear Writers Award, named after Imagen's founder and a man who remains to this day one of the most successful and prolific writer-producers in Hollywood. It's a particular thrill to present tonight's award because I worked with this gentleman over the last five years, recipients of this award have included Jose Rivera. Ladies and gentlemen, Jose Rivera live. Very lucky because I, I have, you know, we, we all walk a path in this business and but what happens often is that your path intersects the paths of, of a great person, if, if you're lucky. And uh, I've intersected several great people in my life, uh, Norman being the first. and writer-producer Roberto Orsi for bringing vast imagination and soul to major blockbuster films. You can be proud of him. He's the real deal. Please help me welcome to the stage the highly creative Roberto Orsi. And I've been chasing uh, in the way the mainstream dream, and I've done it by reflecting the fact that my culture never forgot. This culture I always thought of as having an amazing focus on individualism, but Latino culture treats family and team as the highest value. Guillermo del Toro's Pan's Labyrinth was awarded Best Picture and Best Director and is still the highest grossing Spanish language film ever released in the U.S. For individual standout performances, Imagen recognized the work of Catalina Sandino Moreno and America Ferreira. Imagen applauded the work of a visionary executive working at the highest level of network television. And, uh, thank you for your steadfast commitment to the arts and the artist. Imagen recognized the humanitarian work of civil rights leader Dolores Huerta. The producers of Innocent Voices for their tireless efforts to speak on behalf of the underrepresented children in war torn nations. Amazing what has happened 20 years later. You have this award ceremony uh, for all the positive images of Latinos, and it's an extraordinary accomplishment that we have all, as a, a mass of unity, have accomplished together. Uh, we have a ways to go, but it's a, it was an extraordinary accomplishment. The past uh, 24 years, the Amayan Lifetime uh, Achievement Award, you know, has been presented to individuals who have, I guess, most certainly through hard work and dedication, earned the respect and the admiration of the entertainment industry. So their success inspired others to try harder, reach further, in an effort to break down barriers and create new opportunities for the Latino community in Hollywood. I'm most honored to be uh, presenting this year's award to my uh, dear friend Manny Nunez. He projects honor, dedication, humility, passion, and charm. The Mahan Foundation has achieved many important goals in diversity in the media. I'm deeply appreciative to be associated with this dynamic group, honored to be receiving this award. Thank you, Helen, and thank you, the Board of Directors of Vermont. Recipients of the Creative Achievement Award include director Kenny Ortega, writer-director Rodrigo Garcia, and writer-producer Silvio Horta for revamping a well-known telenovela and making it resonate with mainstream America. Uh, the fact that so many people out there relate to the Suarez's, regardless of their race, ethnicity, their background, the fact that they can look at the Suarez family not as a Latino family, but as a family just like theirs, that makes me incredibly proud and is hopefully just the beginning of more and more, and more honest depictions of our community in, on television. Latinos are now a powerful influence in Hollywood, positioned across all areas and levels of entertainment. After 25 years, the Imagen Foundation is more committed than ever to ensuring that Latino creativity in all forms 
continues shaping the face of entertainment. Tonight, we celebrate our community's past achievements and a future of possibility that looks brighter than ever.